co-host Karishma was raised in Port Shepston and she grew up loving the sea and spicy cooking. She's now based in Hart Bay, which enables her to keep in touch with the ocean and fresh, sustainable seasonal ingredients. It's a recipe for a culinary delight and she's sharing one of her favorite dishes with us today. I have a craving for ice cream, which is a pretty normal occurrence in my life. But today I'm going to try and do something a little different and make a chai-inspired milkshake. I'm in one of my favourite spots to get some artisanal vanilla ice cream. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. Oh, I see you've got some interesting new flavours. Oh, can I have a taste of the turmeric latte? There you go. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful that colour is. Mm. So... Good. As delicious as it is, I actually just need some good old vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. A litre of it, please. A litre of it? Yes. Sure. Thank just you. Thank you. Karishma's next stop was House Bay Harbour. I love the market. There's always so much to see and most importantly, so much to taste. to make some croutons for a salad? Uh, the salad is good. You get more crumbles and more pieces from it. But it won't be very crusty. But I think the ciabatta will be good because it will have a proper crust outside and soft inside. That's exactly what I need. I feel amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. with my bread and I'm going to get some fresh fish for the main. It's really important to me to use fresh and sustainable ingredients and you can't get fresher than this straight off the boat at Howard Bay Harbour. I was going to use some prawns for the dish today but prawns are on the sassy red list so we're going for some king clip instead. No, yeah, yeah, not too big. I think that's, that's okay. Uh, okay. With the skin over? No, uh, no skin, no bones. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. start with chopping some chili. I like using fresh red chili because I feel like it adds a wonderful flavor to the fish. It doesn't matter how you chop the chili, but I like to chop it quite chunky so that if you don't like chili, you can pick it off easily, but who doesn't like chili? And next we're going to add quite a bit of garlic. One, two, three, about four teaspoons of garlic. You can obviously add as much as you like. Next, we're going to go for some olive oil. I'm going to be adding quite a bit of olive oil. I just feel like it helps the fish marinate a lot better and I won't be adding any more oil into the pan when I fry it off later. Next, we're going to do some lemon juice. I don't really know how much you'd like, depends how zesty you'd like it to be. I think I'm using about a quarter cup. And there, there we go. A pinch of salt. And I'm gonna roughly chop up some coriander. About a handful should be enough. And we can just roughly chop it up. I like things nice and rustic. I'm going to add a fresh flavor to our marinade. Pop all of that in there. And I'm going to give it a good stir. So this is done. I'm going to pop it aside and go grab the fish. Here we have our king clip fillets that we picked up earlier. And they are going to be the main ingredient for our rustic warm fish salad. So first of all, I'm going to just take a little pinch of salt and put it directly over the fish. Then I'm going to take our marinade, pour all of it directly over our fillets. Just like that. This is why I love cooking. I feel like it's such a personal experience. Everything I like to cook are things that I love to eat personally. Now we're gonna start with our rustic croutons. I'm so excited, look how beautiful this bread is. So we're just going to cut the bread into some nice chunky pieces. This bread is gonna give us a lovely crunchy outside and soft chewy inside. I'm gonna just break them up like this. Here we go. Now we're gonna make the chili sesame oil to go over this. So first I'm going to need some sesame oil. And to that I'm going to add some crushed chilies. I'm not going to put too much, it's got quite a bite to it. 
And then I'm going to do a little tiny pinch of salt, just to add some seasoning. I'm going to mix it all together. I'm just going to drizzle that over the bread. And then I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Depends how thick your pieces are and how hot your oven is. Can't wait, those are going to be delicious. While those are cooking, I'm going to go out and get some fresh basil from my garden for our basil pesto. I love my little garden, but as you can see, it's taken a bit of a knock from the drought in Cape Town. But I still have my basil tree, which I try and use as much as possible. So I never throw these basil flowers away because they're actually great to make some herbal tea with them. Those look perfect. I'm going to make a basil pesto. This is literally one of my favorite things to make. Not only is it so quick and easy, it's absolutely delicious, and it uses fresh basil from my garden. So we're gonna start off with putting about a handful of basil, and then we're going to add some olive oil. So quite a lot of olive oil because it needs a lot of liquid to mix everything together. And next we're going to add some lemon juice. The thing about basil pesto, it really relies on your taste. You can add a little bit more, a little bit less of everything as you like. Then we're going to add the fresh garlic and chili. There. And then we're going to add some of the nuts. You can use basil nuts, even almonds. I just like to use cashews. And then we're going to add some parmesan cheese. And lastly, we're going to add some salt to taste. I like adding just a little at a time because you can always go back and add some more. And then we're just gonna close that up and give it a quick whiz. Quick and easy, just like that. That's done, now we're gonna go fry the fish. Just gonna turn the stove on. You want it at uh, quite a high heat at first because you need a nice hot pan to seal off the fish. Oh, lovely. That's what you want to hear. It's only going to take your fish a few minutes to cook on either side and the minute you see your pink lips starting to flake, that's when it's done. I'm going to flip this over now. So that is now cooked. I'm going to take that off the heat and get ready to plate up. After bedding down the king clip, Karishma added the croutons and topped the salad with some generous dollops of fresh basil pesto. And there we have it. Look how beautiful this turned out. My lovely, warm, rustic fish salad. And now for my favourite part, the tasting. That is absolutely amazing. Wow. But no meal is complete without dessert. I've got all the ingredients for my chai milkshake. I've got my roasted pistachio nuts, and I've got my chai infusion, and of course, my divine ice cream that I picked up earlier. Doesn't get much simpler than this. I'm gonna take your jar from your blender, put in a few scoops of ice cream, I love that you can see the vanilla bean seeds in here. There we go, that should be enough. Chai infusion. You've got your lovely roasted pistachios, it's gonna give it such a toasty flavor. Put it on there. That smells so good. And there we go. I'm gonna empty it into this glass. Don't you just love that color? Mm. So good. I love it when something turns out exactly the way you imagined it. Perfect way to complete the meal.